from swimming to biking. And finally, running. The three characteristics of a triathlon pushed athletes to the very limit on Sunday. Going from the bike to the run, that can be tricky. Um, your legs feel like jello, they can feel, or they can feel really heavy, and the heat can cause it a little bit uh, to be a little worse. The heat, upwards of 30 degrees, was definitely a challenge. A designated water station halfway through the running portion was the only supplied hydration for the athletes. Just follow the sign. The long course began with a 700 meter swim. From there, they hopped on a bike for a 26 kilometer stint and topped off with a six kilometer run. I used to swim when I was younger, did track and field, and then figured biking wouldn't be too hard to pick up, so put all three together and worked out. Competitors also have the option of doing the short course and that begins with a 300 meter swim followed by an 11 kilometer bike race and finished off with a three kilometer run. Although the short course is much easier it still takes a lot of time and prep to ready yourself. If it's not you know outside running in minus 40 at least get out to the running track in town or hit a treadmill or something. Um, any form of cardio really does help. This year's turnout was pegged somewhere in the 80s, a little down from previous years, but McDonald was happy with the numbers, especially in the junior entries. Some of my friends from the Sim Club started triathlons like Tate, Hogan and them, so I kind of just wanted to try it out because I kind of biked a little because my dad bikes. Number 70, Shayla Blue. And of course, no matter where you place, the feeling crossing the finish line is the main reason to race in the first place. I was really pushed, motivated to go because there was Jessica and um, Claire. They were both right in front of me, so I was just like, oh, I really want to beat them. i got to get going. So, yeah, we all finished really close to each other. For a full list of results, visit the CJDC TV website. Mitch Bach, CJDC TV Sports, Fort St. John.